Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video, and we've got Lisa E. You guys told me that either one of the Lisas would be an episode that I need to see, and I think when I did that poll recently, like it was like Shanae, somebody else, Maya already did those two, so now I'm on to the Lisas. But if I remember anything from the clip, this woman was just kind of vile, man, because she was treating... Her, I don't know if it's her boyfriend or her husband, but he was a much older dude. Like, he was one foot in the grave, and she was, like, about to fall in the damn hole herself, you know? So, the only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave. And if the comments were true, Buddy's gonna end up there, and she's gonna be there by herself. So, I'm interested to see where this one goes, because... I don't know, it just, I got a little bit of context from the clip, and you guys were like, no, you have to see the whole thing. So let's get right into it. I'm trying to tell you I need help, but I want it. Well, I've been giving you the help, you're not taking it. You gotta do something. Help yourself. Damn, she made it to 50? That's a good run for a 600 pounder if we're keeping it real. Oh my god. No sheet? What are you doing, lady? That's vile. That mattress was like, looked like it had coffee stains on it, but I'm gonna guarantee that ain't no damn coffee. No Starbucks in that sucker. I'm going to say I get up every morning, except for the fact that I can't get up out of this bed. It's been about three years that I've been in bed. Randy. I get up every morning, but I can't get up? I don't think that's how that works, lady. Randy, it's time to get up. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Randy stripped <laughs> for us. It makes me feel because oh. I can't do anything. Oh. I hate being here. I hate being in this house because I hate being stuck in a house. I hate myself. I just feel like... Oh my God. Yeah, you guys will never understand what it's like to feel like a prisoner in your own home until like you guys complain, I don't want to go to the store. Wait till you can't go to the store. Also, I don't know how, but this lady got leg herpes. That looks gross and painful. Ow. I've let myself down and everybody around me. <laughs> I live with my boyfriend, Randy. Boyfriend. And I just feel like crap because we're not really boyfriend, girlfriend. He's more like my caregiver. For the three years that I've been in bed, Randy's been helping me. Okay, well, you want him to feel like a boyfriend, roll over laying spoon or something. At least cuddle. I don't know, there's a lot of cushion there. He could rest his head on your leg or something. That's a pillow. Randy does basically everything for me. Jesus! CV Lisa. Babe, I'm getting hungry. Okay. And most of the time, he does all the cooking. Wish I could help out a lot more. I know Randy wants that. Poor guy. I miss simple things like mopping a floor. He just says he does it out of love. Bullshit. Nobody misses mopping the floor. That sucks. What is wrong with the door? Nobody's cleaning this damn house. Oh my god, that's vile. Well, for breakfast, I kick her eggs and toast and give her cereal and sometimes cottage cheese. Makes me upset because I don't want her eating that stuff, but I don't want to make her mad, so I give it to her. Lisa gets upset all the time because she wants to get up out of bed and do things and she starts crying. It makes me upset because I love her with all my heart. Sometimes I... She eats the eggs raw? She could at least cook it. Damn, I've never been that hungry before. I hug her and other times I tell her we suit it'll be okay. I'm her biggest cheerleader. <laughs> when you turn to food for comfort, it's like your best friend. You know, you can eat it and you can cuss while you're eating it and tell them everything you're doing and it's not going to talk back to you and it's not going to judge you. Food makes you feel good while you're eating it. it makes you happy. But 
It'll talk back if it gives you acid reflux. Also, eggs in bed's kind of gross, too, considering you're basically laying in your toilet right now and cooking some eggs. Mm-mm, good lady. And by the time you're done, you feel so guilty. It's like, it wasn't worth it. Or you know that food, because you know that food's killing you. You know how bad it is? It's absolutely terrible. Holy shit. And food becomes your best friend. It's your only friend. But it's always there. Are you kidding me? This woman's eating the whole damn pig like Babe would be terrified of this chick. I mean, I've tried, like, not eating so much and stuff like that, but I'm a stress eater, so whenever I'm stressed out or something, I eat. I'm just a stressful person. <laughs> Babe, you want to put that in the kitchen for me? Save the Thank crumbs. You. I feel bad because sometimes my bedding gets wet. And then we have to change the bedding. You know, oh it's kind of stressful. Oh. Look at that. This old man's strong as hell. Get you a handful, son. Damn. That's probably keeping him in good shape, buddy. <sighs> you know. I have to use the bathroom. <clears throat> With stress on my body. Get out of the splash zone, buddy. Sorry. Oh. You want to get as good as you can. We have to change the bedding. So yeah, I'm stressed a lot. Oh and my god. And then if it's bath time, we'll take a bath. But wait a second, aren't those puppy pads? She's using puppy pads. Don't do they make like super obese adult diapers? Like that's not a joke. Because that mattress, uh, is probably friggin' gross, man. Uh, that's what started the pandemic. That mattress, right there. Yeah. Oh. Get some soak and rags and wash my legs and rinse them off. It's a long process because we have to wash and then I have to dry everything. Get that dead skin off. Is that mold? I've always wanted to lose weight. I just never knew how to lose weight. Nobody wants to be like this. And if they do, they're crazy. In all honesty, I don't think anybody that gets that big really knows how to lose weight. But, I mean, you know how. You just have never done it. So it's like you're sitting there staring at this huge, op huge obstacle and you're like, man, how do I do this? But there, you got to take the first step. you got to start somewhere. And probably half the damn pig and bacon ain't gonna help. I've always enjoyed food. I don't know why, but I always have. Really? I think it's been a family thing, you know? All of us are overweight. Lisa and I are two years apart. We grew up together pretty good, but growing up, we've never really recognized Lisa's weight because all of us was heavy back then, except for Robin, the other sister. Holy shit, that was just the starter? Oh my god. You need to just roll her to a damn buffet. I don't know how they're affording all this. I guess they're saving money on sheets and toilet paper because they got puppy pads. Huh? Growing up, my life was chaotic. My dad was an alcoholic. He wasn't at first. He was a real good dad when we were younger, but then he got into drinking and started on my mom and everything. Oh, damn. So, just that situation there made me turn to food. Food became a comfort to me because whenever I got upset or afraid or lonely, I knew it'd be there. But then, after my dad left, my mom went to work. She cleaned banks. She did whatever she could to take care of us. And as kids, she used to spend a lot of time home alone. Okay, so she had a tough childhood. Her dad left. Honestly, that's kind of like the backstory you always hear on these. And it just, I mean, I hate hearing that kids are having a tough time. Honestly, when my YouTube channel started doing good, the first thing I did was make a donation to St. Jude. Because I was like, things are going good for me, don't mean it's going good for everybody. And I never mentioned that, but that was like the first thing I did. Go do whatever we want to do. Cry and eat. When I was 13, life changed a lot. I was at a friend's house. People I thought were friends. I was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I got raped. And it just happened. There's two different guys. I never told a soul. Not even my mom. And I started eating a lot after that. I know I did. 
That's sad. I never understand guys that find some kind of power in that. Like, that doesn't make you cool. You get no cool points for that, buddy. You're disgusting. You're a vile human being if you do something like that. And I did it on purpose because I wanted to get back so nobody ever touched me again. Maybe feel lowly, afraid, wondering why things happen. And where in the hell was God? I got to drinking then, drinking and partying, falling in the crowd, probably about 300 pounds. I met Matthew's dad when I was 16, Terrence. And that was okay. We and him got along real good. We had a pretty good relationship. And then I found. You know, but. Like, tough times don't last, tough people do. So are you going to let something terrible that happened to you as a child define how you live the rest of your life? Or are you going to take back some of that power and just, you know, find some comfort in being you and living your life and not letting that sad sack of crap have anything to do with how your future plays out? found out I was pregnant. My sister just found out she was pregnant with her second child. Oh, it was... Not good for my mom living in a house with two pregnant girls. Because <laughs> we was crabby all the time. And then we still lived with our mom after we had the boys for a while. I'm not going to deal with a baby. I'm 17. I can't take care of myself. He had colic real bad. He cried 24-7. So it was hard. Me and Terrence had never married. But we kind of got thrown together for a while. My first marriage was a guy that was in prison. He was in prison. Oh, a real winner, lady. You're looking for some love behind the bars, but where's the kid? Did she give the kid up for adoption or something? Because I could see that also being something that's like traumatizing to her. So. For murder. We started dating after he went to prison. Murder? He was young when he killed the guy. They robbed a mall and accidentally shot him. At the time, it didn't bother me. And when he got out, it just didn't turn out very well. It was good the first. You know, three months he was out, but then he got to drinking and using a lot of drugs. Oh. That was okay to talk to me. And yeah, I don't know why that happened. We usually think that the murderers have really good morals, and when they come out, they're going to do everything right. And uh, I don't know, man. All them letters you wrote, whew, man, hot and steamy letters. I tell you what, like that damn bed. On me and stuff like that. I Crash. picked him up one time and body slammed him. I said, you're not going to put your hands on me. I said, no man's ever going to put their hands on me again. Oh, shit. And then he tried again. And I called the cops and had him removed. I sent him back to the penitentiary. And I went and seen him. I said, you might just file for a divorce because we're not staying married. What do you mean you went to see this guy after you friggin' went sumo wrestler on him? Had him sent back to jail? He's beating on you. Like, why? Why go see the guy? Just file for divorce, and it's over with. Why even get involved with that? I understand some people can be reformed and come out better, but this guy is friggin' Oops, I accidentally shot somebody. Like, I don't think that's a damn accident. So he filed for one. His biggest lie was, I'm going down to the bar, and then he disappeared for two weeks, and I didn't see him. Oh, my God. I'm just going to skip forward. Then there was Homer... I was 19. That was a good relationship, but he was on drugs, so we broke up. Well, then there was Charles. I dated him for a couple of years. I was 21, I dated him. We broke up because we just fought a lot. And then there was Harry, and I was like 22 then, I think. Holy shit, this lady's got some mileage on that thing. She's been going to pound town a lot. Harry was a good guy. He was really sweet. But he was a womanizer. He had to have three or four different girlfriends at one time, and I couldn't deal with that. With Harry, things started getting hard because it was just too hard for me to go and do things. I bet it did get hard. That was about 10 years back. And then I got with Randy. I met Randy at the girls' store at age 40. Came up and started talking to me. Gave him my phone number, and I've been with Randy ever since. So, when you're 600 pounds, the moral of the story is, hang out at the grocery store, you will find your soulmate. Especially if they're buying frozen food and frozen pizza. And holy shit, she finished that thing. I didn't think she could finish that whole tray. I don't think I was attracted to Randy when I first met him. I think he just grew on me. What? He was just so sweet and kind. And sexy. 
What stabbed me, at least, is her personality. What stabbed me? She was fun and beautiful. I love everything. No, the first boyfriend was the one doing the stabbing. And I guess you're not doing any stabbing because you said that you're just the caretaker, so. Well, Lisa, I miss her being there with me. That's how I feel about that. Well, we used to go down to the park and she'd hold her on the back of her wheelchair and she'd walk around on that. Aww. We used to go fishing all the time. She'd go to the store with me. She'd go to the doctors with me. I do feel lonely all the time when I go out. She can't go with me, especially when I go to the doctor. I need her there for support. And my biggest hope and dream for her is to get up out of bed and let's go do stuff and eventually get married. Oh, this poor guy. But hopefully she's going to turn it around, right? Because obviously she don't want to keep living this way. She's going to make an effort and turn her life around. And then you guys are going to get to go to the store and do things like McDonald's. It'll be a friggin' riot, dude. Time of your life. About eight, nine years, Randy and I spent a lot, a lot of time going places and doing things. We were never home. Most of the time I'm covered up and I really didn't even, you know, look at myself. I don't really think I ever really noticed it until my legs and feet and stuff started hurting so bad. And Matthew said, Mom, you're getting fat. <laughs> oh, hey. Randy, Randy, we put that in the kitchen, hon? There's still a bite there, lady. What are you talking about? You, I, you know how some of you women will send back, like, the last littlest piece and be like, oh, I couldn't finish it? That's probably what she's thinking right now. Doctor told me if I stood on my ankle, it was going to puncture the skin. The bones were going to go through my skin. Started staying in bed, and I never got out of bed. <laughs> By that time, I know I had to weigh about 600. Been here ever since. My boyfriend, Randy, has to do a lot for me. I feel bad, because it's not fair to him. More? He shouldn't have to come home and clean, and he shouldn't have to come home and cook, and he shouldn't have to take care of me. That's what I worry about with his relationship, is that he's going to be tired to leave. He's never told me that, but. I don't know if it was the tables or turn, I'd get tired of it. Randy takes really I mean, this is third breakfast, lady. And I also just realized that that's a king size mattress. I thought it was a queen. Holy hell. Take care of Lisa. He's here for her and he helps her. He baths her. Helps her with her blisters on her legs and stuff. Worry about something happening to him. Then who's going to be here to take care of Lisa? Well, bring me the sour cream, and I'll mix it in this, then. Did you really just give her a bowl of mayonnaise? Is she going to eat that like ice cream? Or is she making some kind of chicken salad type thing? Because that's so much mayo. This chick's got to be going on 6,000 calories for breakfast. You know, the last three years on him has been hell. He's had to take care of me and you know I regret letting this happen I want to lose the weight hey babe come grab this stuff will you I feel like a caretaker instead of a boyfriend some of the times it's kind of frustrating I think both of us have had food addiction since we met I think we do yes we both enable each other what It's hard because you're... Thank you. You spend a lot of time alone because no one wants to be around you. But my sister Robin and my sister Jojo live here in town. We talk on the phone. Oh my God, how? How is she still eating? Like, I've heard them say on the show, they just don't get full. I don't think I could have even put a dent in half of what she's eating. That's a lot of food. Well, mostly. They just don't like seeing me in bed, so they don't come over. Taters are pretty good. I'm taters. Broke my heart. Lisa did when she got bedridden. She asks us to come over sometimes and see her. And I don't come see Lisa as much as we should do. It hurts. I don't like seeing her like that. I just hope that she can get out of bed soon and be able to get up again. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I'm just not worth their time. And that's terrible, but it's the truth. 
look, your self-worth will be shattered at this size. But also, you're the only one that's going to be able to do something about it. Look at Randy. He's wiped out, man. He's been chefing it up all morning, and you're still ready for more. My biggest fear is dying. I want to change my lifestyle to get out of bed and do things. And it's never too late to keep trying. And if I don't try, then where am I going to get? Your people did up. Damn dog. <laughs> I thought she was grabbing a bag of candy. I was like, more? Oh, this is her makeup. She got to beautify herself, right? Okay. Doll it up for Randy. Oh, it scares me. All I'm going to do is keep gaining more weight, and I'm not going to be here. But between me and God, I know I can change this. I just have to do it. I don't have a choice. I want to change really bad. I want my life back. I mean, really, I must be pretty bad if people don't want to come visit me. I mean, it's nobody's fault on my own that I put all this weight up and I want it in this bed. I mean, I'm not sure if people don't want to come visit you. That bed probably stinks. It's probably a smell in that house they don't want to come visit. But also, it can be hard to look at your loved ones. I know I was hurting people's feelings at my biggest when they were like, Damn, Sean, when are you going to do something about this? So. Thank you. You know, I deserve to be happy and I deserve to be free. And that's all I want. That's why I want to change. Did my baby love you? I thought it was breakfast. Good night. That was a midnight snack? All right, she's 50 pounds down. So when's your doctor now appointment? I think it's today, four. Oh, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. You better be. You know this man's gonna put down his foot. I hope to get down to Houston. I want to make an appointment with Dr. Now and talk to him face to face. I hope to get surgery one day. I want to know what I can and cannot eat. Hopefully he'll send me a list. Oh and my God. I'll tell you right now. Nothing you just ate you could have. Also, is that blood on the corner of the mattress? Like, that thing is a vile. How? I can't imagine the stench from just laying in that bed on top of puppy pads. How much weight he's gonna make me lose, cause you know they always do. Yeah. Probably gonna have me lose a lot. I'm very nervous for my Dr. Now's appointment. I'm nervous because I don't know what he's gonna tell me. I think he's gonna tell me to lose a lot of weight. Heck, yeah. if I lose 100 pounds, I might be able to get up. you probably get up now, we just gotta strengthen your legs. I'm afraid to put weight on that ankle. Yeah, I know. But look, that, you'll have a million excuses to not try, but you should be more scared of not making the effort. Like, try and fall back down. Just make sure you fall on the pee mattress or whatever. Don't fall on the floor, because then we'll have to call somebody to get you up. But try. Put in the effort. Like, do something. So it's just since that doctor said I can bust that bone through. Be as hope as she can get out of the bed and see her grandkids. This guy's shirt says really, really ridiculously good looking or cooking. I thought it said cooking, and I was like, all right. I think it's looking. Okay. I need me this one of those. This is my last chance, so because if I don't do this, I'm going to die. I yeah, know. Uh, Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. 
Well, nice to meet you. You too. As I understand it, you're reaching to me because of your weight and the fact that you're bedridden. Yes, sir. Okay, so what is your weight? 637. You look like you could be a little... Bro, I was gonna say, Dr. Now is seeing from the chin up. She looks a cool 350 from the chin up, but he ain't seen them damn legs yet. And thick thighs save lives, but them calves crush balls, man. Them things are huge. They're bigger than that. So, how old are you? I'm 51. So, what is your mobility? I don't, I, I can't get out of bed unless I get someone to help me get in a wheelchair. So, how long you been in bed? Um, three to four years. You didn't think you should try to lose weight and get out of that bed? No, I guess not. So you didn't know what the problem was in three, four years? Well, yeah, I knew I, I like to snack a lot and eat a lot. Oh my God, she called that shit a snack? Also, do you think she's ever had sheets on there in the last three to four years? Because I'm willing to bet that that mattress ain't been cleaned or nothing in those three years. Just no sheets, nothing. Well, you're not the person you go to pantry and get your snack. Who's bringing you your snack? Well, when I could get up and walk, I'd get them myself. But now, Randy brings me everything I eat. <laughs> so that is called an enabler over there. So when you get an enabler over there, they enable you to eat all the high calorie food. How are we going to change that? Well, we... we Somebody we... that's interested to keep you in the bed? No. He can be your provided? So he, he bring you the food and you're obligated to eat? No. Who cooks the food? Randy and I cook it together. Hey. Oh my god, you made two damn eggs. This guy's out here chefing it up like damn Benny Hanna's. You cook together? Come on, lady, seriously? What are you on about? I'm gonna cook in the bed. I got an electric skillet that I sit on the side of the bed and cook. So you cook the food in the bed? Well, yeah, I sit in the bed and put the skillet on the side and cook. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Randy, take care of you full time? Yeah. Okay, so what are you willing to do to save your life? I'm gonna follow whatever you tell me to do and he's gonna make sure of it. I hope so, because your health will start to deteriorate rapidly if anything happens to you. Can you lower the camera so we can see your legs? Right. Have some better idea what's going on? Oh. Can you hold that down there? Mm. Let me just see part of your leg, but not the... You gotta back it up, Randy. That's a little close up. You gotta get that suck way back here, buddy. Come on. I knew Dr. Now, because you can't tell from the chin up on her, right? She's carrying all her weight down below the waist. I don't know, maybe Randy likes some thick legs, but Randy's obviously sitting here a little depressed because he wants to do things with her. So you would think, I don't know, my biggest fear was getting bed bound, guys. So that's like the second you start to go downhill way faster. I got lymphedema bad too. I see that. And what is this uh, tubing going to the oxygen? Oh no, that's a pure wick. So when I pee, it goes in this tube. So I don't get wet. What do you do when you have your bowel movement? Um, Randy, how, we turn over and use like a bedpan. I see. So you have a whole system figured out how to keep you in bed all day. When was the last time you were able to sit up and walk and get out of the bed? I haven't been able to walk, like I said, about three years, three or four years. Bro, that is so bad. But, I mean, I feel for people that are bed bound. But when, once it's, like, because of your weight, then it's like you've done it to yourself. If I was bed bound, I'd blame myself. I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. I feel like she just decided one day walking was tough and she wasn't going to do it anymore. Because it doesn't sound like she had... A broken leg or anything like that. Kind of like Penny did in the episode we watched where she just was like, Nope, walking's tough. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to sleep in the porta potty Years. So you've been in bed for three, four years. And what you have done in the past three, four years to get your stamina up to get out of the bed? 
I don't really do anything except leg exercises. I do them every day. So what is the plan for you to get out of the bed? Well, I'm hoping to lose some weight and get some physical therapy so I can get out of bed. How do you think that's going to happen? I'm going to have to stay on a strict diet and stop eating food I'm not supposed to eat. You knew that the past three, four years and what you have done to change that. Yeah, I guess. But look, doctor now, come on. Once you get that big, it's like, well, I'm not going to change till I absolutely have to. I'd say she's at absolutely have to point. But I tell you, everyone on this show feels like, oh, well, I just need my stomach cut out. It'll be all right. But it's just a tool. It's not going to do it all for you. She's going to lose weight if she has it done. But actually, no, we've seen people not. I don't know how they pull that off. So I haven't been trying hard enough. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? So you don't know what the problem is? Well, yeah, I know what the problem is. I guess I just haven't did anything about it. So what do you think the problem is? I eat too much. So how long you know that you're eating too much? Oh, for a long time. So what is new today after 51 years? I don't want to die. I want to change my life and get out of this bed. Mm, somebody made a phone call to my 600-pound life and paid her $1,500 to be here, so here we are. Say that, but doing that hasn't been important enough for you to start losing weight before this point. So you live in uh, Nebraska? Yes, sir. Well, we don't have any sort of transportation to take you to Houston from there. If you want to come here, the goal for you will be to drive down. But anybody at your size, bedridden, and without medical supervision or medical passport, is going to be very risky to come down to Houston soon. Before you do that, you need to get out of that bed. It's the priority before you do anything. And you can do that by losing weight and exercising. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't want to be stuck in a car with her for that road trip. If I was Randy, I would be playing highway to hell the whole way there. Because she's going to complain and complain, My blood sugar! My blood sugar! I need a ho-ho! Okay. So we're going to email you some information. I'm going to send you some diet instruction that I want you to read. Okay. And follow that in daily basis. The diet is going to limit you to 1,200 calories a day. We focus on protein and almost no carbs. What do you think? Your boyfriend's still going to be enabling you or he's going to stick with your healthy eating habit? What do you think? Stick you with the healthy eating because I have to too. That's he right. said he's going to stick with it. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa, I want you to stick with the diet and change your eating habit quickly. When you are 637 pounds, if you stick with a 1200 calorie diet, you can easily be able to lose 40 to 50 pounds a month. So in two Yeah, I think just with diet in bed, she could do that. But I don't know if her mental state is quite there because I really don't see it in her. Like the way she was just eating on the damn show while they know she like she's being filmed shows me that she don't give a damn. Like not at all. She can easily lose 100 pounds. But I'm only going to ask you to lose 75 in that time. I expect you to lose that much. Okay. And with what I'm going to send you, there is some exercises that I want you to start doing and that you can do in a bed. Okay. And it took for your stamina. And do you have any physical therapy over there to help you? You hear that, Randy? Some stamina-inducing bed exercises? That's what I'm talking about, buddy. You're about to get lucky. Also, what leg exercises is this lady doing? Because all I saw her do was this with her ankle. I don't think she's doing any leg exercises. Randy is, though, man. He's bench pressing the hell out of them suckers. No, I don't have physical therapy. Okay, so I'm going to set that up for you to start PT at home. To work with you to get you up. Can you set up on the side of bed? I can if someone helps me get on the side of the bed, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I want you to work with them to set up and to start to stand again. And once you do that, they will help you to start to take some steps until you're able to walk again. Okay. Uh, the question is, can you do that? Okay. All right. 
Lisa, if you need anything, you may call. Otherwise, I'll follow up with you in two months, and I want you to be 75 pounds lighter. And I want you up and walking by day. We used the way you gave me to calculate your progress. Okay, thank you for your help. But how does she actually know if she is 637? She should have just overshot that and told him 667. And then Dr. Now would have been none the wiser. Man, you kind of shot yourself in the foot with that one, lady. You should have overshot. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. He's right about one thing already. I'm going to run out of time if we don't do something. We're going to do it. I'm so mad at myself. <sighs> you be mad at me, not yourself. You did not put that food in my mouth or any how many times I have to tell you that. Nobody did this to me. I gave me. it to you. So what? You, can you want to put something in your mouth, but also, like, you can beat yourself up all friggin' day, alright? You could sit here and say, I'm terrible, I'm this, I'm that, but ultimately, you're the one that's got to do something about it. You could sit there and have all that food in front of you and not eat it and pick to eat something less or something better for you, and you're going to start making progress. So it's like, when are you going to take control of your own life and stop sitting here and saying, I suck, I suck, and then just think, you know... Think better of yourself. Think like, I can do this. Have some positive attitude. It really goes a long way when you're stuck in this position, honestly. Give me 10 pieces in here, but unless I choose to eat them, then I shouldn't be eating them. This is nobody's fault but my own. I killed basically myself. No, both of us killed you. No, I did. We're gonna get you out of this. <laughs> Man, Randy's a nice guy taking a lot of blame. Right now, I think we're gonna have a bit of uphill battle with Lisa. She's been stuck in the bed for years with no ambition to get up and change her situation, which means there is a part of her that wants her to be in that bed all day with someone feeding her and taking care of her, which means she has spent a lot of time justifying living like that to herself, so changing that isn't going to be easy, especially with the enabler there with her, always ready to feed her. So I'm not sure Lisa means it, when she says she's ready to change. My concern is she really means she's ready for someone to come and change her situation. Hopefully... Yeah, I think she, that's exactly what she's waiting for. But I don't think people realize just how soul-crushing it is to be that big. Like, it's not only crushing all your organs. It's literally, like, just the, the most sad you can be inside and the, like, lowest of low you can feel about yourself. That's why I always tell people... Like, you're always going to be your own harshest critic. Like, you're always going to be harder on yourself than someone else is. So, why does it matter what other people think? Because you should just be happy and just confident in who you are. But it's hard to do that at this size. Yeah, I'm blank about that. And she's ready to work to change her life. Because until she gets up and start walking again, we're not going to be able to do much for her. But in her condition, bringing her to Houston could be too taxing on her body. So we need to get her weight down and get her mobile again before we do anything else for her. But that's going to be all up to her. She's going to have to decide what's more important, stay in the bed and eating all day or saving her life. We will give her the instructions and the tools to do what she need to change but it is all up to her to make it happen right i mean this is a high pressure situation but pressure bursts pipes and pressure also makes diamonds so you got to decide which one you are are you going to try to turn your life around or are you going to sit here with this woe is me attitude and i did this to myself because you can do that all day that's the easy way just sit there and just you know decide that this is too hard i'm not going to do it but are you going to do something about it? Because that's when you start making progress. I'm going to go to the store. All right. Love Bye. You. I love you. Oh, shit. I didn't see the goldfish. I thought they ate them, man. That diet, that's a tough life. But they're there. They're still there. It's been a couple weeks since I had my first appointment with Dr. Now. 
read Dr. Nell's book to see what kind of changes I have to make. The diet is confusing. He wants me to eat a lot of protein, no carbs, but he don't want me to eat like fat stuff, you know, like a lot of hamburger. My sister Robin cleaned my house out for me. Got rid of all the junk food. I filled my kitchen with healthy stuff. Whatever. Uh, instead of hamburger, just eat some turkey burger. No more bacon, turkey bacon. Like, it's easier to make the healthier option, and you'll get used to it after a little while. But also, she didn't, still didn't put no damn sheets on that bed. That thing is gross, man. Covered in booty sweat and all that. And Randy's just sitting there huffing farts all day because you know she's letting them rip the way she's eating. I'm just gonna, like I said, pray to God and hope that Randy will help me figure out what to eat, what not to eat in the servings, and we can make this work together. That's right, Randy. It's on you, buddy. Kidding. What's your order? Hi, honey. What do you want to get? I don't know. Go get some cookies. How many do you want? Get like six or seven cookies. Get some peanut butter cookies. Are you kidding me? A six pack of them if they got them. You want bacon cheddar? You want jalapeno cheddar? Just grab pizza. one of each one. Go this is not real life, bro. I got to do this diet. Doctor now wants me to eat the healthy meats. Make sure you get some peanut butter cookies while we're at it. Those are definitely on the diet. 1,200 calories? That's a serving, right? Oh, my God. The willful ignorance of this lady. Like, she's just totally content being stuck in that bed. This is somebody that wants to do nothing for themselves. It's hard to watch, honestly. Get some cereal, too, babe. We need about seven boxes of cereal, so keep track of what you throw in there. Seven? Get some something with sugar on it. It's understand right there. Get some of them peanut butter right up there. Okay, now go to the candy aisle, and then we're gonna go to the chip aisle. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a diet, lady. What are we doing? Make sure I get all the Lucky Charms. Seven friggin' boxes. Now hit the candy aisle, we gotta get us some, oh my God. What are we doing? Where's the chip aisle right now? Oh, well, get chips while you're standing there. Um. Oh. As long I don't as you're know, there. Get five bags. You might just get a couple jars of that dip too. Oh yeah. All right. What else you need? Go to this soda aisle. Get like eight cases of pop. Just for S holy shit! There goes the whole check for being on the show. That's get eight cases. We need seven boxes of cereal, and that's gonna be. This is her week's groceries, I think, because we saw how she was eating before. That was breakfast. Breakfast. Grab any of it. It'll get drinking. Okay, and then go over and get like six frozen pizzas. And get a pack of corn dogs too. I don't see corn dogs. Oh All my All right, God. just grab four bags of pizza roll and get out of there. Holy shit. The DiGiorno Decimator over here just eating everything. And nothing she said was healthy at all. There's not one damn celery stick in that sucker. It's all frozen pizzas and cookies and pop. I don't even call it pop. I'm from Maryland. All right, babe, that's all we need. So I'm going to see you when you get here. All right. Okay, love you. Bye. Well, I can do the exercise and diet Dr. Now wants me to do. But... Not today. Oh yeah, we're gonna start tomorrow. Those do those groceries are for today, apparently. Cause we're just gonna put that off to tomorrow. Are you kidding me? This woman might be one of the worst on the damn show so far. She gives leaky booty Lacey a run for her money. Does anybody live in Nebraska? Because I didn't see anyone right there on that street. Oh, God. Uh, Randy, can you hand me them dumbbells, weights, whatever they call it over there? That's right. Uh, it's been about a month since I talked to Dr. Now. 
I got Dr. Now's books and the peeper he sent. Yes, I understand everything they want me to do. What's a peeper? I like to give my ex. Because that sounds dirty. But also, I'll never knock somebody for trying and putting in some effort. When I started lifting weights last year, I barely could curl this 20 pound dumbbell, man. I got weak as shit. Because you lose some muscle after the surgery if you don't work out. So, I finally worked my way up to the 40-pound dumbbell, and I'm getting bigger and doing it every damn day, pretty much, while I take one or two days off a week. But she's trying right here. The problem is all the frozen pizza and the diet part of it. That's where you're not trying. The camera cut on, she picked up some two-pound dumbbells, she's gonna go to town. But, I mean, it's something. But your diet with the dumbbells, you're gonna burn like 10 calories, lady. I'm back up to twice a day. I mean, I really do have to exercise my legs because I can get a blood clog if I don't. My arms are going to hurt tomorrow. I'm stuck in bed all the time. I haven't walked in four years. I can't even stand on my poor feet. They hurt so bad. But I feel like if I can lose enough weight, at least trying to get on my feet, I could do it. You want one to work with me? Yeah, you tell her, I got a dumbbell you can pick up. Randy's defeated, man. This guy's done. And she keeps a bowl by the damn side of the bed in case she wants one of them seven boxes of cereal. This poor guy. Like, he does not look good right here. If I would get out of bed right now, my legs and knees wouldn't hold my weight and I would just fall on the floor. I was in a nursing home for about three months and we tried that and that's... Just exactly what happened. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna tell you, I ain't, I'm scared to put my feet on the floor and try again, but I know I got to. And with the grace of God, it's gonna work out okay. That's one reason why I wanna go see Dr. Now so bad, because not only will it help me lose weight, but I know he'll get me physical therapy and stuff and get me back. Okay, well stand up and try. Never let fear of not being able to stop you from trying. I did that for such a long time. And I know what it feels like. You're afraid to do this. You're afraid to do that because you might not be able to. You have to try or you're never going to get anywhere. Back on my feet, which I got to do that. Randy, my arms hurt. So my chest. <sighs> I know your chest hurts. <sighs> what? I keep telling you, go up to the doctor, but you won't go. I love Randy because we've been together forever and he's really good to me. He does a lot of stuff that a lot of men wouldn't do. I love Randy because he does stuff, and we've been together for a long time. That doesn't tell me nothing about Randy. He's taking care of you is all I heard right there. And she also said she's going to feel the burn from that 10 pump she did. Damn, that's like letting yourself physically deteriorate to the point where... I bet she will feel the burn, actually. That's crazy. And I appreciate him for it. You want to go to the hospital, babe? I think I have to. Uh oh. Lay down for a little bit and see if that'll help out. I got pain in my left leg. What is that gonna help? I don't think Randy's jealous. He's afraid if I lose weight that I'll leave him. Cause then I won't I won't need him, you know. Right now he does basically everything for me, and if I can start doing it by myself then I think he's gonna feel like I'm not gonna need him anymore. Oh, so what you're saying is he stood by you at your worst, so now if you get any better, you're going to leave him. This guy needs to get her rolled out the door right now. I don't know, because I ain't going to wipe your butt if you say, Oh, if I lose weight, man, I'll get me a hot youngin'. Like, come on, lady. But I mean, that's not the case, because when we first met, I did everything for myself. We got different personalities, though. He's really quiet. He doesn't talk to people. He's not around people, and... I'm the opposite, and I like to be around people, and I like to go out and do things. Oh yeah, you're a regular club hopper, lady. Like, I love to be around people. What friggin' people? Randy is your people, and the goldfish. He's not like that. And you know damn good well, if I lose some weight, my butt's going out. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> I tell him every day my expectations for myself in one year is to... Lose enough weight to get out of this bed because I got a date with my granddaughter, take her to the fair. And I do not plan on missing that date. Oh, lady, you ain't making it to the damn fair. Not at this rate. 
And also, I think we should keep you away from funnel cakes at all costs. So that's, that's my plans. Big plans. All right, she's down 120 pounds and seven DiGiorno's. Shake it to the left if you're having a good time. Shake it to the right. I'm doing this there you go. for Dr. Nahum, but mainly for me. Keep it up. My arms are killing me. Oh. Lisa has turned away physical therapy every time they've come to see her. After a month, Dr. Nahum decided to call her early to find out what's going oh, on. Hello, Dr. Now, how are you? Hey, Lisa. Well, what are you doing in bed? Sitting here doing... What are you talking about? She's lost 200 pounds, Dr. Now. She was just doing freaking Taekwondo. Nothing. That's a problem I'm calling about. You keep refusing PT and you're not working with them to get up. So last time I talked to you, you said you could sit and get to the side of bed if you had help. And we sent PT to help you start to do that to build up your stamina. But you refused to cooperate with them. So what's going on? I never said I'd sit on the side of the bed. You must have got me confused with someone else. Really? Yeah. So if you can't get up and walk, how do you expect to come to Houston? I'm supposed to be coming tomorrow. Uh, how in the world you're in the bed? You're going to come to the bed and move that bed from uh, where you are to the Houston? No, they're, the ambulance people are going to help me get in the van, and then I'm going to come down there and see you. That's medical transport, and I told you that's too risky. But that's a uh, there's no point in doing the medical transport if you haven't stuck to the diet and lost some weight. The fat boy Grim Reaper don't want you. Like, he's trying to help you. You have to help you, lady. Like, come on, Lisa. What is going on? Okay, but I don't think you are really planning on doing that. So, what do you have done to change your eating habits? and lose some weight. I send him my book and all the instructions you need. I don't quite understand your book and what kind of diet you want me to be on. Then you haven't read it because there is only one diet in there. You read the stuff for you will understand that you eat only three times a day, only about 400 calories and protein, and you avoid um, all the high calorie food list that we send you. Which but right, Dr. Now, that's the problem, right? She lost her reading glasses. How is she supposed to read the book? She don't know where them suckers went. They fell down by the bed, now they're gone. Them suckers are in Narnia at this point. But if that is hard to understand. I'm, I'm confused all the way around, I guess. You're, you're confused, okay. I think the reality is you are playing games and pretending to be confused because you still want to eat whatever you want, whenever you want. So we need to cut the food off at the source. Where is your enabled boyfriend? So I can talk to him and see you right he's overfeeding. Just a minute, I'll hand him the computer. Here, babe. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. How you doing? All right. So you're the one who brings Lisa all the food that's killing her. So why are you doing that? I bring her a whole lot. I bring her some. She has the most any weight over the last month. She's still over 600 pounds. So you're not feeding her a little. You're feeding her a lot. If you give her a protein, uh, it's just... Look, Randy's part of the problem, but Lisa is the majority of the problem. She's 600 whatever pounds of the problem, and Randy's just the gas money, right? So, even if he didn't get her the stuff, she's still gonna eat like shit. She'll order something, to be honest. Randy's gonna have to get up and get it from the door, but where there's a will, a way. There's a, where there's a will, there's a way. She'll get the damn food. But Randy, yeah, you should just tell her nobody at the same time. But I understand that this guy, very soft-spoken, he's not willing to take that kind of backlash from her if she don't get her damn DiGiorno's and peanut butter cookies. She'd be able to lose enough weight to get out of the bed. But she's not able to do that. So why are you overfeeding her? Because she asked me not to get it for her. So if she asks you, you're obligated to bring it to her? Yes. What happened if she don't bring it? Is she gonna get up and go get it?
Oh you have to talk to him because this is important. This is about saving my life. You can't just... Oh my god, saving your life when you've made zero effort. You just want him to sit here and get reamed out when you know damn well you're the one begging for that food. Poor Randy, man. I just feel bad for this guy. He's like a punching bag in this episode. Not talk to the man. I'm not to overfeed you. You need to finish talking to him. I'm done talking to him. We both know we're both doing wrong, so I mean, he's only trying to help us. There's nothing we can do now except get you down there. I've been trying to cut your food down until you know. Doctor, now he don't want to talk to you no more. But that may be your problem. He doesn't want to stop doing that because he likes to overfeed you for whatever reason. And as long as he brings it to you, then you gotta be in the bed. And if you both aren't willing to stop this unhealthy behavior, nothing is gonna change. And if that's the case, what is the point? What do you think we have? Bro, I don't think he likes overfeeding her. I think he's scared of her. This guy, he's getting up there in the years. And if she dropped one of them legs on his thigh when he's sitting there scrubbing her butt, snap that sucker right in half, boy. That's like a damn bear trap. And you magically make him lose weight? Well, no, I know you're not going to magically lose weight, but I got to do it myself, and he's going to have to help me do it. And you don't have a lot of time to waste. And you're going to run out of time soon. I know. Well, if you know, then you're going to have to do your part to make the changes. Okay. You say that, but I don't think you mean it or that you really want help. Let me get you out of there, Michelle. So what are you trying to say, Lisa? I'm trying to tell you I need help, but I want it. You want it so bad that you've done nothing. It's one thing if you want it and, like, you've made some effort and, you like, you've been up and down or failing... You haven't tried at all. Because you curl some dumbbells a couple times ain't going to cut it at that weight, sweetheart. Like, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. You can. But you're going to have to take some accountability here. Well, the help that you want, we've given you the help, you're not taking it. The help you want is to stop eating and stop overeating and killing yourself with the food. And we give you an opportunity to do that. And you're not doing that. And you want us to help you. I'm doing the best I can. <gasps> Lisa. Yeah. Okay. Crying and uh, trying to tantrum is not going to be a solution for. The I'm problem. not throwing no tantrum, Doctor. Now. But you are. You know, we gave you all you need to start making the changes you need, and you have every opportunity to make. So why you haven't done that? I don't know. Cause food tastes good. That's the damn problem here. And also, she's so used to crying, I think, and getting her way. Cause Randy's like, oh, she's crying. Better give her a friggin' pizza. Like, she thought it was gonna work on Doctor. Now that man's got friggin' ice in his veins. He ain't never seen a fat tear that he is shattered for. Like, you ain't gonna break that man. You could cry all the crocodile tears you want. And he's going to send you some friggin' celery sticks and tell you to get to work. Like, he don't care. Well, what is the point of calling us and you're not doing anything you're supposed to? Do? I do want the help. So what kind of help do you need? I don't know, Doctor, now. I just know I need help losing weight and getting out of this bed. You said there's a diet. You need to do it and work with PT if you want any more help. You think you can do that? Yeah, I can do that. Well, let me talk to him again. Here, Randy. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> can we get it? Uh oh, that's her other boyfriend texting. You better be careful, buddy. That's why he don't want her to lose weight. I think he does want her to lose weight, though. She's the one talking about leaving him if she gets lighter. Agreement that there'll be no snacking between the meal? Yes. 
Okay. And the meal would need to be around 400 calories. Okay. Lisa, do you think you can do that chapter in the book? Chapter yes. Five? Yeah, I can. <laughs> okay. And you need to put that chapter 12 and start doing that exercise, okay? Okay. And then... I've never seen somebody look less enthusiastic about this show right here. Because she's like, yeah, sure. I don't see her doing any of that. She is going to yell at Randy till he gives in. I'll buy the old man some damn earplugs if he wants to get away from that problem. Pity comes, you work with them. Okay. Okay, I'll fall up in two months. And if you do the way and get out of the bed, then if you get to that point, maybe then we can consider for you to travel to Houston. All right. All right. Otherwise, I don't see any point coming down here. Okay. All right, bye, Lisa. Bye-bye. All right, let me say bye to Randy. Okay. Okay, Randy, okay. if you need anything, give me a call. Okay. Okay. That's right, Randy, the Reese's runner. You better not bring her any more candy. If you need anything, give me a call. Okay. Bye. 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 Is that plywood? If Lisa doesn't wake up and stop playing games, then the outcome isn't going to be good for her. She spends a lot of time learning to manipulate those around her to get what she wants. And she seems to think she can keep doing that in this situation. She wants to pretend she doesn't know what to do and convince me that she's trying in the hope that I will eventually give her weight loss surgery and all the work will be done for her. But that yeah, she's definitely used to people just caving and giving her her way. And I don't know why, but this woman has somehow managed to, like, pull the wool over everyone's eyes. But Doctor Now ain't having it. He's seen some fat tears in his life, and it don't work on that old man. Friggin' ice, just cold, cold-hearted right there. That's not gonna happen, because unless she does the work, nothing anyone does will help her in the long run. So she's not gonna manipulate her way into losing the weight and walking again. Either she does what she has to do and work at it, or her situation is only gonna get worse. Until she gets to the point where it's too late for her and she doesn't make it, the choice is up to her. I mean, that's him saying it in a different way. The only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave, so... Make some effort. Canceled her appointment, shocker. You think she had more than 400 calories for breakfast? I don't want to go over anything with her. I think it's a waste of time. Come in! Ooh. Here we go. Hi. Hello. How are you, Lisa? I'm all right. I'm Emily. I'm a dietitian. I'm from Lincoln. How's your day going so far? Fine. I probably won't even answer your questions, to be honest with you. I just want to get to- You little brat. Like, what is wrong with you? Everyone's here trying to help you lose weight. This lady's here to talk to you about your diet since you don't know what you can and can't eat. And you're just going to like straight, I'm not going to answer your questions. I have the right to remain silent. When it comes to a diet, we don't talk about that. I know you a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about yourself? I don't know. I ain't really nothing to tell. Well, we didn't just end up here today, right? No. What's some of your story? I don't, I don't know. Can you tell me about just growing up and what food was like for you? I don't know. We ate regular meals. Yeah. Did you get the diet that Dr. Now had nope. provided? Did you I get any information no from him? No diet, no nothing. Okay. You have it. The man has only told you a dozen times, Lisa. What? This is just willful ignorance. Like, ignorance is bliss, but this lady is a whole nother level. And being nasty to someone that's there to help you, like, 
I don't know how you want that on national television. That's disgusting. Talk to him at all? Yeah, I've talked to him. Okay. What has he provided for you when you have met with him? Nothing but rudeness. Really? Okay. I refuse to talk to that man again, too. I don't need to be made like I'm a piece of from someone who's supposed to be helping me. You're not a piece of <laughs> Well, that's not how they make you feel. Um, uh, that's you projecting because you're struggling with something. You're the one that probably feels that way about yourself because you know you haven't tried. You haven't done a damn thing to work towards this goal yet. And now Dr. Now is being rude to you because he's telling you what you need to hear? This is just dumb all the way around, so... What's the ultimate goal for you? I just want to get out of this bed. Okay. So, to get out of bed, what would that entail? I don't know, Walking. figuring out how to get up and walk again. Okay. So what would need to happen in your life to be able to get up and walk again? I don't know. What types of things do you like to snack on? <laughs> Just depends on whatever's around. I don't have a choice. She eats children's souls. No, but also, isn't she supposed to go to the fair, get the funnel cake or whatever? So, I don't think we're getting there, but you made a promise, right? Does that mean nothing to you, too? So. Okay, so what kind of foods get brought into the house? I don't know. Well, what do you eat cookies. on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't know. I had oatmeal and toast for breakfast. You Bullshit. like to eat snack food. So, what type of snack food? I don't know. I don't eat chips. I used to never. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the f I eat. I just eat whatever people give me. Lisa, do you mind if I ask Randy some questions? Ask all you want. Yes. Okay. Randy, are you familiar with the recommendations that Dr. Now has made? No? Okay. He hasn't made none. He doesn't okay. do anything okay. that makes you feel like a can piece of Can I tell you about those recommendations? No. So... I think the overall goal is that we're promoting some weight loss to be able to help get you to Houston to get help. Is that correct? correct. I'm not going to Houston. Okay. So overall, though, you have the goal of you're wanting to lose weight so that you can get out of bed, right? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think is contributing to continuing to gain weight? Or... Uh, I don't know. Come on. Blame Randy. Lisa, if you want to make change, I'm gonna need you to engage with me. But I don't know. So you've not struck. She has a whole lot of don't know, but obviously you eat less, you lose weight. Like it's pretty easy, put two and two together. You were all good on the, you're crying on the laptop. Oh my God, this is so sad. Like I'm trying. The second someone is there to look you like dead in your eyes, you are just so like, turned off don't want any part of it just ew like what is wrong with this woman everyone's there to help you so make some damn effort what is this going to do me any good with you just coming here and talk this is not even what a nutritionist done i've seen nutritionists before this is lisa this is my specialty of working with people who struggle in their relationship with food this is what i do every day chunky boys we're wasting my time what would you rather be doing? I don't know. Leave me alone, lady. Sometimes when we get angry and frustrated, we want to blame other people and have them take Okay, us this is over with. Get out. I'm done. I'm done talking to you. Give me my book. I don't blame nobody for anything that's happened to me. Yep. Give me my book, man. I'm writing down this damn recipe and you're going to get out of here and we're baking some damn peanut butter cookies because I'm triggered. Lisa, is part of you afraid of getting help? Just get the away from me! <laughs> get the out! Yeah. Yell real tough when she's walking away. Before that, you were sitting there, I don't know. When she's walking away, get out! Okay. Do not ever go back to my house again! Yep, door shut. In Lisa's responses, she definitely demonstrated a lot of resistance. And she's obviously angry. 
but a big part of her journey is going to be being able to be honest and vulnerable. And so Lisa's unwillingness and hesitancy to engage definitely raises a lot of questions for me about whether or not she's really committed to the journey of healing. Because she's not. But this lady's sitting here acting like she's the freaking troll on the bridge, except she's guarding the bed instead. And Randy's sitting there scared to death because he knows that she's about a ho-ho away from snapping and friggin' just throwing fans and stuff at people. So, I, I don't know, man. That guy just sits there and he's like, uh, uh, I don't know what the diet is. Randy's got more of an idea than she does, probably, at this point. Just nobody wants to follow Dr. Now's rules, so nobody's gonna get anywhere. Pizza. And then I also told them I cannot do physical therapy after 3.30. So how, I mean, what are we going to do about that? I set that up at 6.30 at night. Yeah. Dr. Now, he knew good and well I cannot do anything after that. So that's disrespect on his part. And that I'm supposed to respect this man? No. It's all disrespect towards me, but it's okay to respect me because I'm a fat Where You are the most terrible person I thought Zaylin's husband was the worst person I've ever seen on the show. This lady is making my skin crawl. She is the most ungrateful, just nasty, and unwilling to do anything person I've seen, I think, so far. I don't know. Everyone else at least tried. She started out with frozen pizza, and now she's on oatmeal and toast, right? That's all she ate, guys. Where is my respect? Respect these nuts. She's eating something. Bring your ass in. Oh. Hey there, Lisa. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. My name is Stacy. She thought it was the same lady as before. She's about to rip her head off for asking about the diet word. We got a new lady today. Let's see how nice you can be to her. And I am a physical therapist. Good talk. So... <laughs> How about we, can we do a little chatting first, just to... You have five minutes. Okay. So how about this? What really? What goals do you have as far as physically, with physical therapy? What can physical therapy help you There's with? nothing you can do for me. Have you had physical therapy in the past? Are you interested in any type of exercises that you no. can do in no. bed? No. Yeah, Randy's interested in bedroom cardio. Why don't you let him talk? Damn. I'd like to help you. Yeah, whatever. You are not supposed to be here this late. How is that fair? You are not supposed to come this late. I really don't have anything to say to you or anything I want to do. You wasted your time. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I have some resistance bands out in my vehicle. That's something that you... And five minutes ain't up yet, lady. You about to take all five of these minutes from me, especially being that nasty. You'd like to... I can bring in here and show you a couple things that you can do. I'm not sure. I'm not having you show me anything. If you got some papers, I'll take them in. I'll figure it out later on. Okay. I don't have any papers with me, but my plan was just to see what we can do today, and then I can get you papers. Nothing that I can do here with you no. for you okay you wouldn't consider anything absolutely not well i would love to help you in whatever way i could okay yeah i really truly would so you would like me just to oh my god a fly just flew in her damn mouth ew the magic pee bed and there's flies everywhere dude <clears throat> That's crazy. Why is this woman the most irritating person on the show? Go out. Is that? Yeah, there's really nothing we could do. Okay. 
is there any type of activity that you are able to do in the bed? Moving your legs, moving your arms, rolling side to side. Are there things like that that you do just... I mean, she eats, she poops, and she pees. Does that count? For activity, for movement? Okay. How about sitting edge of bed? Are you able to do that? No. Um, even just raising your arms up overhead and coming back down. Oh my God, never mind. Thank you for coming. That's the end of it. Bye bye. Thank you. And this is why my family don't with white people no more. What did I do to you? Holy shit. Coming straight from my neck. I'm pretty sure Randy is of the caucus descent too. We don't mess with white people, man, man, man. Come on, lady. You are so damn nasty that you will make no effort towards trying to get your life back. Like, zero. You've done nothing. It's after 6.30. We can't talk about diets. Did you call him? Yeah. What'd she say? She said it'd be a couple times. You're all making my heart race. And I get dizzy. And she said it'll be my blood pressure. His blood hormones a little bit low. Oh, I guess that's one of those diet McDonald's. Okay. No carbs in that. You know this burger don't taste good. <laughs> You ungrateful hussy. Ew. Dr. Niles a lie because he claimed he sent me a diet and he never did. He makes the devil look good. Oh, Dr. Now, rip her head off. Please. Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. So what's going on with you? Nothing. That seems to be what you do best because you're clearly not doing the diet. And yes. you still haven't cooperated with PT, so why is that? I still don't understand no diet. I don't understand your book. It didn't have no diet in the I seen. You don't understand to eat less? Is that hard <laughs> to understand that? No. I friggin' love Dr. Now, man. He is not having it. That is, he makes this show. Like, when he's gone and he's not doing it anymore, my heart is going to break a little bit. And I'm going to have to stop watching it. I guess it is. I don't know. So, why aren't you eating this? I don't know. Yeah, okay. And, and you can't tell me anything, so don't bother wasting your time. You can't tell me nothing. And what? Nothing. I'm not talking to you. Uh, why haven't you been working with physical therapy? I don't know. <laughs> Well, you know, Lisa, if you don't make any changes, you're not going to be able to get out of your bed, and your condition is going to deteriorate, and you're not going to survive that. And oh, well. you know that, right? Yeah. So you, you need to uh, stick with a healthy eating habit, and you need to do your physical therapy. The one lady did come, she says, I'm too fat, and she don't know how to work with I didn't hear anybody say that. Like, you are deflecting majorly, and also, what the hell do you know? Because all I've heard you say is, I don't know, I don't know. With me. That's not what happened. You refused to work with her every time she came, and now you're lying to manipulate the situation. Okay. If you want to survive and not die that way, you're going to have to do your own part. You, you know that, right? Yeah. So, this is something that you need to do because you're heading to be a medical disaster pretty soon. I don't really care anymore. Well, if you don't care, then we can't help you. Because we can't motivate you. You have to decide to change your life. But I think what you're expecting is for someone else to do the work for you. And giving... I mean, how do you help someone that doesn't want to help themselves? That's the situation we're in. Not one damn time did she make the slightest bit of effort besides the dumbbells. She tried something. 
I'll usually cheer somebody on if they're at least trying. But she just wants no part of any of it. Into your manipulation. So Lisa, we have given you everything to change your life, but then you have to do your own part. What the f you gave me? I'm done, goodbye. <laughs> Here, I'm done. I'm done. <clears throat> Damn. Look at the size of that friggin' bicep, baby. Them dumbbells did work. Worthless doctor now. I don't think Lisa ever really intended to make any of the changes she needed. I think she thought she can manipulate her way into weight loss surgery, and she wouldn't have to do any work to lose the weight and save her life. So right now, as long as that is her perspective, and she intends to lie to me and gave me excuses intended to manipulate me, there is nothing we can do for her. So yeah, far I think this lady's so used to just yelling at people and getting her way, and it's probably worked for her her entire life. She's just found men to date, I guess, that aren't very outspoken. You see Randy, he said like 10 words the whole time, and one of them was, what kind of cookies? That was one of his sentences, I guess. Cookies. Here, one of two things is going to happen. Either Lisa wake up to the reality of her situation, and that's what she needs to change before it's too late, or she's not going to be alive much longer. Or she'll prove you wrong, buddy, and be at the fair next week. Uh-oh. Lisa and Randy both has it. Oh, damn. I told you guys that bed caused it. Lisa has been here for the last four weeks. My boyfriend, he got real sick, and um, they actually had to come and take him out because he was unconscious. So, um... After that, they're like, you know, they think he has COVID. You really got to go get tested. Uh -oh. So I called an ambulance, and they came and got me in. Took me to the hospital, and I said, yeah, you got COVID, and this is where I winded up at. I don't think either of them is really in the shape to fight that off because they're both on oxygen. That's scary. Could you imagine if you couldn't get out of bed to help somebody, and your partner is sitting there, like, passed out? There's nothing you can do besides call 911. That's scary. After recovering from COVID and lost a... We lost Randy. Oh my God. Well, he fell off the bed, actually. He rolled off the bed. So I said, that's it, Randy. I said, I'm calling an ambulance. And I called one and they took him away and I, I never got to see him again. What? He just rolled off the bed? You couldn't call before that? Because the man was obviously in a bad way. Do you guys think she was sitting there like, Randy, can you make me a pizza? And he's sitting there friggin' on his deathbed? Jesus. He texted me once. And that's the last time I heard from him. He says, I love you and miss you. Are you okay? I told him that I loved him and miss him too. And that he has to fight so he can come back home and be with us. I just miss his hugs and his kisses and everything, watching him cook, and he, he'd be here. <laughs> his hugs and kisses and watching him cook. I didn't see a single hug and kiss. I saw a lot of cooking. No hugging and kissing. But the poor guy passed away. Damn, that's a hell of a way to spend your last days with this woman. Right now, sitting in that chair over there, you know, I just miss, miss everything about him. He was a good man. I think it's going to be very hard to go home because Randy's not there. I've got to go home to that empty house where I'm used to him being there and all this stuff there. And, and he's just not going to be there. What the hell is she going to do without him? He does everything. PT sounds good now, huh? Recovering from COVID and lost her boyfriend, Randy Lisa's. Oh! Somebody needs help now. Hey, 
Hello, there. How you doing? I'm doing better. Glad to hear that. So, as I said, where are you now? I'm in the hospital still. So, are you in the hospital? I had COVID. So, you had the COVID and you recovering? Yeah. Well, you're very lucky at your weight to survive that. How long have you been in the hospital? I think for about a month. Right. How is Randy doing? Well, my boyfriend Randy passed away from COVID, so he's not going to be there to help me anymore. But um, I have two friends, so they're going to be there to help me out a lot. Okay, so Randy passed away. It's not like oh, you're not you don't sound heartbroken. The first thing you said is he's not there to help me anymore. Uh, okay, but you don't love the guy like that was just the most uncompassionate thing I think she said. She don't care about anything but helping her. That's terrible, man. That guy really probably deserved better. He saw smoking and all that, but he deserved better than that. I'm very sorry to hear about Randy. I'm sorry for your loss. So, uh, how is your weight now? It's at 554. So you lost some weight, huh? Hey! Yeah. But are you doing any uh, physical therapy? Yes, I have to do exercise three times a day. Right. How is mobility? Can you get out of bed? No, not yet. Do you plan to keep trying to get out of bed when you go home? Tunisia and Destiny, which are the two young ladies can help me, said that they'll help me with my exercises and stuff that I need at home. Right. Look at that, though. A controlled diet in the hospital, and she's dropped 83 pounds. So you mean to tell me that she couldn't have controlled her diet at home if Randy would have just brought her a little less, but she was not willing to change until she realized, oh shit, I'm by myself. What do I do now? And that was her like rock bottom moment. One before that, she could have done this so long ago and just went with the program a little bit, but you got to be ready for it. Like you got to want it yourself. So so you got some help. Uh, what are you going to do with your eating habits? That's another issue that I wanted to discuss with you because my sister actually cleaned my house out because we thought we were, I was going to go to a long-term facility. So your diet and books got put into a box, which is in my garage, and we have no idea where it's at. So I was wondering if you could send it all to me again, and they said that they'll help me because, you know, they're, they're the ones going to be preparing my meals and cooking for me. And they said they'll help me to stay on this diet plan if we can get it all again. Lady, at this point, you should be carrying around Dr. Now's book like a damn Bible. Because you came this close to biting the dust. That book is your lifeline. Carry that thing everywhere. I don't care where you got to put the damn thing. Just make sure it's on your person. And I believe they will. Yeah, uh, we'll send it back to you, but you have to actually follow it this time. You know? Yeah. That's going to be Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I can do it. I, I got to the point where the hospital, where I just eat on full. Okay, so far, you started with the kind of 37. From the weight that you originally gave me, now you're at 554, you know. That is an 83-pound weight loss. And that's a great improvement to what we got right now. You don't want to go home and gain all that weight back. No, I don't. I really don't. Then hopefully soon you can stand up and uh, be uh, able to take some sip on your own. Yeah, I would love to love to do that. All right. I'll send you everything again. And Bro, but when that skin turns black like that, doesn't it mean like the flesh is dead? Because that looks like she's got frostbite on her legs. I'm surprised they don't do something to remove that. Like, ugh, that looks so painful. Get PT set up and get you back on the program. And since you recently had a big loss, I'm also gonna set up some psychotherapy for you to talk to them and see if they can help you. Okay. But after this, we need to get you in a better shape and get you ready for uh, um, more activity and get to the point that you're gonna be able to live on your own. Oh, and yeah, that'd be so that'd nice. Be okay. Please, okay. please don't forget to send me that book and stuff, though. We won't. You know, everything in here is going to be up to you uh, to make better progress for yourself, okay? Okay.
I'll do the best I can. You gotta do it for yourself. There's a reason my name's Shauna Steele, and it's not because I think I'm friggin' Superman. It's kind of just be your own hero type deal. Like, you have to do it for yourself. Poor Randy's not around anymore. And now you're going to go home, like, I don't know, this chick will be downloading Tinder tomorrow trying to find a new guy. But hopefully she sticks to the damn diet, at least. Well, uh, you have no choice at this point. No, I really don't. <laughs> don't go home and turn your new roommate into an enabler. No, they're going to um, cook and stuff for me and... Yeah, they're going to help me learn how to prepare meals like you want it to and stuff like that. All right. And um, have you worked with them before? Um, they're just real good friends of mine. Okay. I'm going to have to see how that will work out. And once you do that, we can work on you coming down to Houston. Okay. So these are all the goals that you got and you have to work on them and get them all done. Okay, I'll, I'll do my best. Well, don't depend on other people to give you the right stuff to do everything for you. Okay. Right. You have to make those right choices yourself. Okay, I can do that. And, uh, you know, and you try to eat the smallest amount that you can and don't overeat, okay? Okay. And that's going to be one of the most important things that you need. Okay. All right. I'm glad you lost some weight. And you got to go with. I'm thank sorry you. about your boyfriend. Well, thank uh, you. But uh, I think at, at this point, getting healthy has to be your highest priority. But whether or not that happens, it's all up to you, okay? All right. If you need anything, when you go home, you make call. All right. Well, I appreciate it. All right. All right. Nice to see you again. And I said, take care. You too. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, she's got a little bit of momentum rolling right here, so now it's going to be up to her to keep this train rolling because, I don't know, it's scary. The thought of her going back home or whatever and having those two friends come over and her being able to decide what she eats from now on and not just have the healthier foods brought to her, it's a scary step because she could be right back up where she was before. She's still not walking, but at least she's a little closer. So there might be a little hope left for this lady, but before I was ready to just kick this woman out the damn door, as nasty as she was being to everybody. Right, bye bye. bye, -bye. It seemed like Lisa had a bit of wake-up call with her recent illness, and now she wants to do the program again. It's sad that it had to come to that for her to start to see the reality of her situation. But thankfully for her sake, she seems to have gotten good care in a local hospital that not only helped her to pull through everything, but they have also managed to get her weight down just over 80 pounds, which is a... You know, the sad thing is, is that the Rona comes to this, she's got that, and now it's going to be that that ends up saving her life. Because she went to the hospital, she lost all that weight. If she keeps going, something that terrible is going to turn into a negative for her. Losing Randy, all of it. R.I.P. Randy, it's awful that it came down to this. But these are kind of the games you're playing when your health is as bad as hers and his. And then you catch something like that, and you never know how soon it could be over. So you got to live for today stop putting things off for till tomorrow so a very good start for her but we are still gonna be limited in what we can do for her until she does what she needs to get out of the bed since she recently had a significant loss i want psychotherapy to talk with her make sure she has an outlet now for how she's feeling so she doesn't use that as an excuse to start eating whatever she wants again because Lisa can't afford to mess this chance up. She's very lucky to make it this far in her condition. And if she sure. goes home and goes back to old habits and doesn't do what she needs to change, then things are not going to end well for her. So this is her last chance. She either does what she needs this time or we done playing games with her. Damn, they brought out the whole damn fire truck. Look at that. But, I mean, she's lost 83 pounds, boys. I think we can get rid of one of you. We only need four today, no longer five. But also, I mean, this is her opportunity. If she messes it up from here, I don't know. I, she's a lost cause. Because this, 
this is a huge wake up call. I don't know what else needs to happen to you in order for you to you're bed bound, your boyfriend passes, you've lost some weight, like this is your chance, lady. If you don't take it, there's no hope for you. And everyone's got hope up until they just don't take it for themselves. Thank you guys. You bet. They're sheets, holy hell. No threes. Are you ready for your exercises? Yes. Oh, spoke too soon. I guess that was just a comforter on top of that sucker. Still no sheets. All straight booty juice on that thing. Just a minute. Okay. I found the diet you're supposed to be on last night. Sudoku. You, you, mm -hmm. Go ahead and do your exercises first so that way I can get supper going. Yeah, we'll do it later. Can we throw these away first, please? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? You want the orange band today or the green one? Let's try the orange one today. Which one do you want? Because okay, green's harder. We'll uh, work our way up to green. All right. Out, we gotta do outwards first. One, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Ten. Okay, so this lady looks like she's a positive influence. And also, those resistance bands, those things can kick your ass, man. I've got a 60-pound resistance band, and that thing makes me break a crazy sweat when I get it on with that thing. That sounded bad. This arm is weak. Get it in with that thing. That sounds you bad, too. You got this. Okay, now we have to do the leg ones. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah. Five. Six. I see. We're doing coochie crunches today. Uh, what muscle is that exercising? Seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Okay. Oh, now I'm wore out. Let me check my auction since I've got no auction on. Okay. So, in the book, it tells you what you can drink. The zero calorie drinks that you can have. And then it goes on to give you recipes like a cucumber yogurt salad, uh, sliced carrots, and sliced yellow squash. Do you want to do that? Ew. And also, the book probably says no eight cases of soda pop either, so. That? Well, we'll figure out some. As we put stuff on it, we'll have to check and see how many calories everything yeah. has. Chicken's good. Desi, here's a part in this book that talks about how much proteins and everything, too. Okay. These are some pretty big chicken breasts. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I said I don't think we'll need them all. No. Maybe a couple. I'm only supposed to eat three Damn. ounces, so... Those things are huge. Those are the Playboy Bunny the chicken breasts. Probably oh. not even a half of one's going to be three ounces. It takes six to eight hours to digest food completely. Chicken's in. So I'll be a little bit. Oh, I didn't know our intestines were 20 to 30 feet long. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that either. That's interesting. Yeah. They're a lot longer than that if you count the small intestine. That's just the large one, right? I'm learning some things from it. Laura. <laughs> I'm tired today. I am too. <laughs> I didn't go to bed until like 4.30. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Do you what want me to get doing? you set up for this? Uh, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can you see from here? Yeah, I'm just worried about nothing. I wish they played better music when Dr. Now was coming, like Enter Sandman or something like that. Maybe some, like, metal music when he's coming in, because that man's scary, and they're playing this sad piano music. If you know what to hear him. I'll turn it up for you. Okay. We'll go ahead and step out and give you some privacy. Hi there. 
Hello. Who the hell is this I'm guy? Dr. Paradise. I'm Lisa. Oh. Hi, Lisa. G good to see you. Um, how you doing? I'm okay. Okay, I, I see you laying back in bed there. Uh, when's the last time you got out of that bed? About four years ago. About 1987. Holy cow. Um, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. When, when did you first get big? I really don't know. I never paid any okay. attention to my weight or anything like that. It never bothered me, so I never cared. But I, I want to find out how, how you got that big, because nobody gets to be 600 pounds um, by accident. You know, yeah. th there's usually yeah, somebody... See, I slipped, I fell into a thing of caramel, and it just... 600. Be feeding them or, or some emotional eating going on. How, how did you get to be 600 pounds? Well, I don't know. My boyfriend used to bring me hit food, so I don't know. We're really going to blame the dead? Come on, lady. You know damn well you asked for all of that. Which which boyfriend was this? Randy. When was Randy around? The last 10 years. Is he still around? No, he's died. Oh, wow. Tell me about that. <laughs> oh, wow. Gee willikers. There's nothing to say. He just died. Uh, what did he die from? COVID. Oh, no. He got I, I'm sick. So, I'm so sorry that you had that loss. Um, how long ago was that? It'll be two months on the 18th. Okay. Uh, Randy was fine with you being in the bed? No, he didn't like it, but we didn't know what to do. What do you uh, uh, remember about him? Randy was one of those people who would do anything and everything for you. Yeah. Oh, we talking about Randy. Randy did stuff. That's how I remember Randy. He did stuff. He cooked. And sometimes he even rolled me on my side. And sometimes before it got a little too late into them 10 years, he rolled me some other ways too, buddy. That old Randy got it in. Pretty committed to, to seeing you get out of that bed, I bet. Yeah. I, I, want, you, I want you to hang on to that because I think that... that um, Probably the best way you can remember Randy is by losing weight. What are the tears about? I just want to get out of his bed. I want my life back. I thought she was crying for Randy for a second. I just want to get out of bed. Randy, whoops, there he goes. Like, that guy's an afterthought to her, man. This woman, I don't know if she has a heart. She's like the damn Tin Man. I want to be able to go... Do things with my grandchildren, and you know. Lisa, it's it's meaningful that you're getting emotional about this because it, it means you really care. No, it's not. And I, I. This is her manipulation tactic. She's cried at everyone she's talked to so far. I want to see the behavior that matches that care. I need to figure out a way to feel like I'm really worth it, though, because I don't feel like I'm worth much of anything. Well, laying in a bed will do that to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one of the best ways to build yourself worth is to do stuff that makes you feel worthy. Okay. Lisa, it sounds like you've got it right in your head. You've got, you've got the internal motivation. You really want to do this, and we just have to... <laughs> Buddy, you haven't seen the rest of this episode if you think she's got the motivation. But it's hard to see somebody that beats themselves up and I just think I'm this, I think I'm that. Because you're definitely going to do that when you get to that weight. It's it's literally soul crushing. It's crushing your bones, but it just it, it makes you less of a person. You just come... So much better is out there for you when you lose weight. Like, it'll come out in all kinds of different ways. But your confidence will start to show once you start to make that effort and lose some weight. So Sort of connect the dots for you. Yeah. Do, do you see any, any roadblocks for you, what, things that are keeping you in the bed? Just myself. Walking. Part of the, the, the challenge for you getting out of that bed is, is in your head. I, I understand there's real physical limitations, but I, I wonder if you're also a little afraid of getting out of bed. Oh, I'm terrified of that. I'm going to lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the way we usually work on fear... Mm -hmm is we, we break it into little parts. Okay. Like, what about hanging your legs over to the side of the bed? How does uh, that sound? I Yeah, I'll have to figure out a way to do that. 
Yeah, yeah, right, buddy. Have you seen how big her legs are? If she hangs them, the rest of her's going, because that's momentum. We call that physics there, you nice old psychologist. And I know it's going to be hard, but um, hard things are, are, are usually in front of good things that we want. And that's yeah. what she okay. says. <laughs> so I, maybe sort of incrementally working up to sitting up, hanging your legs over the side of the bed, just getting used to the feel of, of not laying down. Okay. And then eventually maybe resting your feet on the floor so that you don't feel the fear isn't what's keeping you from doing it. No, I, I, just, I got a, a question for you, though. Is there something sure. to do that'll help me with getting over Randy? Well, you know, grief is hard. Yeah. And um, I, I, I sometimes say if they could put time in a pill, they, they'd sell out of it. So, so mm-hmm. time is going to be helpful to you. That's actually a pretty good saying. I've never heard that one before. I thought she was going to ask him if he was single, honestly. Grief. And, and Lisa, the, 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 you're, you have kind of a choice what to do with that grief. You, you can either let it kind of keep you stuck in bed, or it, it can be your motivation to get out. Okay. Because Randy sounds like he was a really good guy. He was. He could. And, and Randy wouldn't have wanted you to just lay in that bed and feel bad. No. So one of the best ways to get over the grief of Randy would be to live a full life and, and make him proud of you. Okay. Uh, do you think he's watching you now? Oh, I know he is. So impress him. Okay. Lisa, I'm, I'm optimistic for you. You can do more than you think you can. I, I think you're going to impress yourself okay. with your ability to, to get up and do stuff. It, it, Look, I'll tell you that there's no right way to do it. If you, if something drives you that's different than what drives me, that's fine. Just find what drives you to lose the weight. There's got to be something that drives her. I don't know if it's her grandkids and going to the fair, finding a new boyfriend, maybe spiting Dr. Now, or pissing off the PT lady that probably thought she couldn't do it. But you, there's some kind of motivation out there for you. You just got to find what drives you. It was great to talk to you. Take care, and, and we'll keep in touch, okay? All right, thank you. Bye, Lisa. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. How'd it go? It was fine. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel okay. He told me I need to start doing more things for myself and trying to get up out of this, you know, my feet on the floor. Sitting up, but I don't, I don't know about sitting up. I don't know we how can help you. Which is a hard thing for me, but I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> I had such a great life, and I don't know why I destroyed it. You still have it. We just got to get you up and move it, okay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I like her. She's positive. She's been negative the whole time, but I think she's starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because you always can work on you. There's always a second chance until you get to the grave. So she's still got every chance in the world to turn this around. And I'm hoping she does. So. And I'm here to help you every step of the way. Oh, yeah. you We'll sweetheart. do this together. I'm okay. Good. I'm Stacy, the physical therapist. Ooh. And we're going to go over a few exercises. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. I can't believe she came back. I would have told this lady to get bent if she wanted my help again after the way she treated her. Like, I've been stressed out over physical therapy. I don't think I can do this, but it's time for me to take care of me. It might be a little late, but we'll try. How about this? We're going to start with some arm exercises, OK? OK. Just start with, I'm just going to have you raise your arms up overhead and back down. And you had physical therapy earlier, is that right? Have you That's had that? No? no. OK. OK, good. We're going to do 10 of these. Does that sound all right? I want you to let me know if anything is sore, anything hurts. OK. Feel like your arms. Hey, does PCOS cause uh, like facial hair growth? Because, like, I think I said something about that before, and you guys told me that that's PCOS, which I didn't know what that was at the time. Is that what causes that? Or is, I mean, does it cause weight gain? Like, 
Because I think that's probably what she has, right? At least that's the way I understand it. Just get tired. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. You will just have to tell me about legs, so because I've got some sores on my legs. Okay. I've got some exercises for legs too, and I brought some gloves so we can check that out. <clears throat> okay. So I also brought some bands with me. Let's do this. I'm gonna have you grab a hold of this band. Okay. Hey, you guys see that dollhouse? My mom brought or uh, bought that for uh, one of my little cousins. That same damn dollhouse. Uh, so I don't, I'm wondering why she has it. Also, when I was five, the neighbor girl wouldn't let me play Barbies anymore because she ran, ran and told my mother that I was stripping all the Barbies naked. So. Mm -hmm. And I want you just in front of you. You're just gonna, yep, perfect. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Eight. Nine. Ten. Perfect. Now I'm gonna have you try this. I'm gonna have you hold that band in front of you. And you're gonna try to just raise it up. Oh, okay. okay. Let's do ten of those. Three, four. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Eight. Good job. Two more. Nine. Ten. I mean, I'm happy to see her put in some effort. I just wish it would have happened a little sooner, so we didn't have to lose Randy. But I don't know if that had anything to do with her level of effort. Maybe he was going out to buy too much food and he got it. So I don't... Something crazy might have happened. In a, turn, in a different world, a different time, it might not have... They both might not have caught the Rona is what I'm trying to say. So. Good. How about this? Let's do a few things with your legs. We'll give your arms a break. Do your arms feel like they're tired at all? Well, this arm does, but okay. this one's fine. Okay. I'm gonna have you just to start with, with your feet. I just want you to pump them up and down. Good. This little piggy. Does that hurt that spot at all? Good. So let's do this. I'm gonna have you try to push your knee down into the bed so you're really tightening these muscles up. Let's do 10 of those, okay? Any pain with that? My knees hurt a little bit. Are they? Nothing unusual. <laughs> I thought those were called Kegels or Coochie Crunches, as I call them. I don't know. I guess they're thigh, cr knee crunch. What's she doing? Good job. Last one right here. Perfect. So let's try to go out to the side. Good. Probably and then easier going and in back so in. Okay. Go. And then back out. Good. Two. Three. Good job. Any pain with that? Uh -uh. Ten. Good job. Ooh. Okay. We're going to try the other side, all right? You're doing a good job. You're doing great, Lisa. Six. Eight. Nine. At least she's got some cheerleaders, because a lot of people, after the way she acted, would not be in her corner still cheering her on. Although, I don't know if they know exactly how bad she was to Randy before this. Ten. Good job, Lisa. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to try this. I want you to try to slide. So, you're, yep, you're bending that knee up. Good. And then back down. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Is that okay? Yeah. Three. Four. Are these guys usually here that they can help you with these yeah. types of exercises? One of them always has to be here because they okay. won't let me be alone. All right, so how about this? Does that give you a few things to start with? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Stacy had me do stuff that I'd never done in my life, but I tried. It felt good. Once I get my mind set to something, then I have no doubt that I can do it. My plan is to do my exercises, eat right, get my fat ass out of the bed. Is there anything, any questions you have or anything that you would like to go over or discuss that we haven't talked about? Mm -mm. Isn't it weird how you can go from absolutely hating exercise to feeling some kind of sense of accomplishment after you're done? 
and it really does feel good. I mean, you might not want to start your workout in the morning, but when you finish, you feel great. You know what I mean? I thought Lisa did really well today with her exercises. She got through everything well and had no pain and appears to be very knowledgeable in the exercises and hopefully can continue those on her own. Thank you so much for Thank working with me. So yes. Much. Good luck. Thank you. OK. All right. Drive careful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. This oh. is not snowing. It's true. It's not <laughs> snowy. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you all kind. Goodbye. Thank, thank you. That's a change of attitude right there. Drive careful. So when's your next doctor appointment with uh, Dr. Now? It's going to be in about three minutes. Could you um, grab me the computer, please? But where's the computer at? It's in the kitchen. OK, yeah, I can do that. OK, but at this point, 10 months. How many months out of the hospital? I don't know if she's lost any more weight. She keeps hiding her legs so you can't see. Like, she's always bundled up. Earlier on, she was letting them puppies fly, but now she's hiding it, which makes me think she's not doing that good, so... Ooh, I bet. There it is. You'll have to clean this stand off first, though, hon. Huh? You have to clean this stand off, too, and sit it right there. All right. I got the pen in my hand, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want me to set this stuff at? Any place put on that, by that TV. Ouch. Any place but on the TV? Yes, just okay, sit, nah, sit, sit right here. There we go. What is the plywood for? I really want to know. Did they condemn that bedroom at some point? Like, you can't come in here, this bed's covered in booty juice? Like, what is that? Okay, how does this open? I'm going to turn it around. That's what she says. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then there you go. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. He might want to talk to you anyway, since you have quick with me. Okay. Hi. 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 Hello. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? That's the stuffed animal from my nightmares. Like, what is that thing? A, like, sock that somebody stuffed full of cotton and put a little bunny face on? I'm doing well, thanks. I wanted to check and see how you're doing since you have been at home from hospital for the past month. I seem to be doing okay. I'm glad to hear that. That's more positive than you usually answer. So I'm happy to hear that. But, well, how are you doing with the PT? Because they tell me you were cooperating when you got back home. But over the last month, you haven't been doing as much. And you've been telling them you're too tired and you can't do it. So they have to come back later. So what's going on now? Well, I've been trying. All right, are you... She put in the tiniest bit of effort and then she got fed up with it. Because she's like, damn, this is tough. I have to do this for how long? And she gave up. Which is sad because it's a marathon, not a sprint. And you had started off good in the hospital. So you had a leg up, no pun intended, on other people, so. You able to start walking? No, I haven't even got out of bed yet. How about sitting on the edge of the bed? No, we haven't did that neither. Are you working to do that or what? Yeah, I'm going to wor work on it. All right, so being in the bed for that length of time, you develop a fear of walking. And I think that may be a factor here. You need to work through that, okay? Okay. So you can work with the therapist to work with that fear of walking. And that's going to be important because getting up and moving around is going to be a very important step in your recovery. So the first step is to sit up in the bed. Yeah. And then move to the edge of the bed and put your feet on the ground. Look, I don't see any reason she couldn't at least set up. Like, it's baby steps. Take the little victories. Do what you can. You, you ain't got to be twerking tomorrow, you know, but... You can at least get a foot on the damn ground. Okay. And once you do that, then develop your confidence that you can get up with the walker and start taking the steps. Okay. But you need to work with the therapist to overcome the fear of walking, okay? Okay. Did you get my book? I send you again with the diet. Yeah, I owe you an apology because all that stuff is in there. I just didn't go back far enough. 
Well, I'm glad that you read far enough this time, so you understand the diet. And you got all this stuff to help you what to do? Yeah. Because you lost a lot of weight in the hospital. And you want to... I mean, this man's trying to save your life, and you didn't get out of chapter one. Like, come on, lady. Read the damn book. The guy's like the weight loss magician. He's Harry Potter for fat people. Continue with that. You don't want to gain it back, right? Right. You got all the right information in the book. Follow those, and you will lose weight. Okay. How is the help that you're getting at home? Oh, they're very nice people. It's good. So the people that are helping you out with everything at home, they're bringing you the food how many times a day? Um, three. Are you stacking between the meal? Um, not the last couple of days, no. But before, yeah. Okay, well, there is no reason for you to snack, okay? Yeah. And Look, you... snack should be the last thing on this lady's mind, and now I'm trying to look down next to her bed to see what she's got, like, hidden down in there. Because I guarantee, if she's snacking, they're within arm's reach. They might be in a drawer, but she's got some cosmic brownies somewhere up in there. You need to cut back on your calorie intake to the point that you're going to be able to lose some weight. Okay. And don't create the dynamic of a neighbor again at home. Okay. If you're not hungry, don't eat. And if you eat, make sure that you're eating very low calorie food. Okay. Almost about 400 calories two or three times a day. Okay. And if you do that, you will lose weight. Okay? So this is what you need to concentrate on. Okay. To continue losing weight and continue getting your strength up and be up walking. So you get to the point that you can be traveling to Houston. Okay. So make sure you work with PT to get up. Don't keep sending him away because you're tired and you don't want to do it. Okay. This is that chance for you to do the program. So do that and stick with that diet. And if you have anything you need, give me a call and then we go from there. I'll make sure I do those. Okay. It's all going to have to be on her end. Like, Dr. Now's done what he can. He's helped the lady out as much as he possibly could from where he is. I think, you know, this is one of the... I, there's not very many of them where they don't actually make it to Dr. Now's office. So it's kind of interesting to see one where they didn't get to Houston, but a lot of other stuff happened, and this lady just, I don't know, effort's not her thing, apparently, because she don't want to try at all. Even if it's saving her life, she don't want to do it. Your next big bone is to have your feet on the ground. And at the meantime, if you need anything, you may call. Okay, thank you kindly. All right, you're welcome. I'm encouraged that Lisa seemed to have had a better disposition and that at least she started cooperating with PT. But at the same time, she doesn't look to have lost much weight since she has been home from the hospital. Nope. It's positive that she has read the diet this time. So that is more than I can say for how much she was willing to do in the beginning. But my big concern right now is that she's clearly losing momentum. She finally started working with PT after she came home from the hospital. I don't think she ever had any momentum. The hospital was what gave her any kind of boost. And then the second she was home, she kind of just sputtered and was like, oh, I'm going to do this, but then realized that that's a lot of friggin' work. I can't do that. But you absolutely can. Like, this was your golden opportunity, lady. Now I just feel like you're throwing it away. And it's sad because your boyfriend passed away. Like, everything is working against you, including yourself. And you just don't want to help yourself, so... But after they got past simple exercises, she stopped cooperating with them, telling them she was too tired when they tried to push her to sit up at all. This past week, she started telling them they have to come back like she was doing in the beginning. So I'm worried she's going back to her old habits. But right now, we will focus on positive we have been seen from her and continue to get PT to push her to get up and see if we can continue to get her way down more. But just like in the beginning, this is all still up to her. And it's gonna come down to whether she's gonna put in the hard work and stick with doing what she needs or not. Yep, if hard work's the key to success, somebody's gonna try to pick the lock. But Lisa E, man, she really was a friggin' roller coaster. I didn't think she was gonna get anywhere and then a pandemic smacked her in the face and she lost 83 pounds and a boyfriend, 
which is sad because Randy deserved a lot better. It seems like he was just sitting there wanting somebody to be a partner in his life and he never got that. But also at the same time, he's to blame too for what he's bringing her to eat because he could have told her no. But man, there's just a lot of what ifs and woulda, shoulda, couldas going on in this episode. But at the end of the day, the only person that can help Lisa is Lisa. Nobody can do it for her. So she's going to have to put in some effort, work on her, and she can come out the other end a much better, happier person. And maybe she'll actually make it to that fair with her granddaughter. But alright guys, uh, follow my other socials for me. I just made a Twitter or an X. So that'll be linked in the description, my Instagram, or join the Discord if you're just looking for help with diet, your diet or motivation, stuff like that. There's a lot of nice people in there. All that's linked in the description. But uh, alright, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye!